What's the first thing that people notice when they arrive on your Facebook page? That's right, it's your cover photo. And did you know that 96% of Facebook users use their mobile device when accessing Facebook? Well, in today's video, you'll discover how to create a Facebook cover photo for both desktop and mobile. So you're not gonna wanna miss this video, so stay tuned. Hi, it's Steve from It Makes Sense, where we give you the tools, tips, and strategies to start an online business, because it just makes sense to have time and financial freedom. So if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and make sure you smash that bell so you're notified when I put out my weekly videos. Your Facebook cover photo, or also known as your Facebook banner, is one of the most noticeable things on your profile page. So if you're using your Facebook page to either generate leads, close sales, or to develop a following, optimizing your Facebook cover photo is very important. Now, before we continue with this video, I just wanna say that I am not a professional designer. However, there are a few things that I know you want to include in your Facebook profile cover photo. So the first tip I have is to make sure that your Facebook cover photo is the correct size. Your Facebook cover photo banner size should be around 820 pixels by 312 pixels tall for computers and 640 pixels wide by 360 pixels tall on mobile devices. And I have a free template that I created and you can download that below. I'll leave a link down below where you can go get that. Another tip is that you want to keep in mind when you are designing your cover photo is that you want to incorporate your branding either by a graphic or by color. So you can see in these examples, these Facebook cover photos incorporate their either their brand, their names, or their color. Another tip I have is to make sure that your Facebook banner is seen properly on mobile. Because like I said at the beginning, 96% of Facebook users access Facebook through their mobile devices. So here's an example of a cover photo that looks okay on desktop. You can see that I have my name, some branding, and my call to action. My call to action is hidden a little bit by these two call to action buttons that Facebook has. But if I go over to a mobile device, you can see that same Facebook cover photo does not look good on mobile. This, the call to action's hidden, some of my branding's hidden, the arrow's hidden. So this is an example of a banner that isn't optimized for both desktop and mobile. Now, if you're using your Facebook profile for business, you're gonna want to make sure that you have a visible call to action on your profile page. And you wanna make sure that this call to action is visible on both desktop and mobile. Now that we've gone through a few things that you want to make sure you include on your cover photo, let's talk about a few things that you should not include. When you're designing your cover photo, you want to make sure that you're obeying Facebook guidelines. Now, I won't read through the full page here, but I will leave a link down below where you can go read it. But here are a few things to keep in mind. So the first thing is your Facebook cover is public. The second is your cover can't be deceptive, misleading, or infringe on anyone else's copyright. The third is you can't encourage people to upload your cover photo to their personal timelines. You don't want to get caught by Facebook violating their guidelines because you don't want them to ban your profile page. So now that we've talked about what you should and shouldn't have on your Facebook cover photo, how do you actually create one? Well, there's two ways really. One is you can go and hire someone. So you can go to a website like fiverr.com or upwork.com or find someone else that is a graphic designer to design this for you. Or you can do it the free way and that is using a program called canva.com. And if you download my template, you can use it in Canva. So let's go over to the computer right now. Let me show you how you can create a really simple Facebook cover photo. All right, so I'm in Canva right now and I want to go to create a design and I'm going to use custom dimensions. So I'm gonna make it 820 by 360 because that is the uh, optimal size for desktop. So I'm gonna create this design. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload the template that I created. And I already did that, so I'm just gonna take it and dra drop and drag it here. So what I wanna do now is make sure that it covers the full canvas. So let's just drag it. 
and make sure it fits the full canvas. So what I did here was you can see I have this white and this is the safe zone. So this is the area where you know nothing will hide your images or your text. So for instance, if you're on desktop right here, they usually have this, uh, your profile picture. And if you're on mobile, your profile picture will show up in this uh, orange box here and your call to actions the Facebook call to actions will show up here so what I recommend is you try to uh, make all of your text and your call to actions and your photos within this white area here so that it shows up well on both mobile as well as desktop so now what I can do is I can make this transparent so you don't really see it and then what I will do is I'll start to create a uh, cover photo. So I can come over here, I can drop shapes. And obviously right now I can't see the template so I wanna make this a little transparent just so I can see this area. And then what I can do is I can start adding all my text. So I can add text here, I can add a background if I wanted to. And if I wanted to change the color of that, you can see now I have like a nice wood background. Um, I can add, go to my photos, I can add some photos to my cover photo. My, so I can do that. And then once I have it done, all I'm gonna do is I'm going to move this over a little bit, come over to my template and delete it so now you don't see that so then make sure you move everything back and now you have your cover photo I'm not actually going to use this one since I have since I have one already created but you get the idea so then once you have what you need you can go hit download and then you can upload this into Facebook and let me show you how you do that and if you want a tutorial on how to use Canva, I will leave a link up above for a video I put together. You can go check that out. All right, so I'm in my Facebook profile. So to cut, change this banner, all I do is go to Update Cover Photo, Upload Photo, choose the one that you want. So I'll choose this one. You can resize it as you want and then hit save changes. Actually, we'll move this down a little bit. And there you go. So the other thing I want to do is create my call to action. So if someone clicks on this, I want that to send them to a link. So I'm going to click on this and then add a description. And then let's just copy and paste this. And then I'm done editing. And there we go. So if someone clicks on this, and then they're taken to clicks on the link, they're taken to my free webinar. So that is how you upload your cover photo and that is how you set your call to action. Now let's take a look at see how it looks on mobile. Now when I look at my profile picture on mobile, you can see that none of my text or graphics or branding or my arrows or anything like that are covered by my profile picture. Everything is visible. So that's how you create a Facebook cover photo or a Facebook banner using Canva. And now you know how you can make it optimized for mobile and how you can make it optimized for a desktop. So if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up so I know to create more content like this. And also, if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing as I'm putting out weekly content on how to grow an online business because it just makes sense to have time and financial freedom. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hi, it's Steve from It Make. You're gonna want to make sure. The banner, as it's known. Okay. See for me. Wow. Me. Not easy. It's not hard to talk.